He is known for his extensive travels and exploration of various regions, including North America, Europe, and Asia. He is recognized for his numerous ascents of mountains, including Pic de Nouvelle and Monte Perdido. His name is Henry Russell. Henry Russell, an explorer of Irish descent, embarked on his first distant voyage at the age of 23, setting his sights on the vast lands of North America. His thirst for discovery led him to climb the majestic peak of Pic de Nouvelle in the Nouvelle Massif, conquering the challenging Ardennes and achieving three ascents of the awe-inspiring Monte Perdido. These early expeditions showcased Russell's adventurous spirit and laid the foundation for his future explorations. In 1859, Russell embarked on his second voyage, embarking on a remarkable three-year journey across continents. His quest for knowledge and exploration took him to the vibrant cities of St. Petersburg, Moscow, Irkutsk, and Beijing, delving into the heart of these diverse cultures. Along the way, he traversed the harsh and unforgiving Gobi Desert not once, but twice, facing the challenges of this arid terrain with unwavering determination. Russell's insatiable curiosity led him to descend the mighty Amur River, immersing himself in the wonders of this legendary waterway. Continuing his journey, he ventured to the distant shores of Shanghai and Hong Kong, absorbing the richness of these bustling cities. Undeterred by the vastness of the ocean, Russell set sail to the far reaches of Australia and New Zealand, exploring the uncharted landscapes and embracing the vibrant cultures of these lands. The allure of the East beckoned Russell once more, and he spent a transformative year in India, immersing himself in its ancient traditions and captivating landscapes. His return journey to France took him through the vibrant cities of Cairo and Istanbul, where he marveled at the merging of East and West, the meeting point of ancient civilizations. Henry Russell's expeditions spanned continents, leaving an indelible mark on the world of exploration. His relentless pursuit of knowledge and his unwavering spirit of adventure continued to inspire generations of explorers. From the rugged peaks of the Nouvelle Massif to the vast deserts of the Gobi, Russell's journeys have shaped our understanding of the world and ignited the flames of curiosity in all who dare to dream. Henry Russell, a passionate explorer, dedicated himself to the exploration of the Pyrenees. With his personal fortune and investments, he embarked on numerous first ascents, often accompanied by his trusted guides. One of his notable achievements was the first ascent of the Vignemail on September 14, 1861, accompanied by guide Laurent Passet. In 1864, Russell, along with Charles Pack, Farnham Maxwell Light, and Emilien Frossard, established the Société Raymond, a society focused on the scientific and ethnographic study of the Pyrenees. This society, known as the Société Raymond, still exists today. Russell continued his exploration, reaching the summit of the Vignemail for the second time in 1868, this time accompanied by Hippolyte Passet. In 1869, he achieved the remarkable feat of the first winter ascent of the Vignemail, accompanied by Hippolyte and Henri Passet. Russell's passion for the Vignemail led him to spend nights on the mountain, often bivouacking in the open. On August 26, 1880, he bivouacked on the summit of Pic Long, buried under a blanket of rocks and earth arranged by his guides. This experience inspired him to advocate for the construction of caves on the mountain, considering them more aesthetically pleasing and suitable. Between 1881 and 1893, seven caves were built on his instructions. The first cave, named Villa Russell, was completed in August 1882 at an altitude of 3,205 meters at the call of Serbalana. Russell spent three days living in the cave and, on August 12, 1884, had the cave and the mountain blessed by a priest. Construction of the second cave began in 1885, followed by the third cave, known as the Grotte de Dames, in 1886. In 1888, Russell requested the concession of the Vignemail from the prefect of the Haute Pyrenees. The rent was set at one franc per year for 99 years, with payment commencing in January 1889. When the Asu Glacier covered his original caves, Russell had three more caves excavated 800 meters lower, at the base of the glacier. These caves, called the Bellevue Caves, were the venue for sumptuous banquets where he entertained princes and notable figures on Persian carpets, styling himself as the Comte de Mons. However, these caves lacked the grandeur he desired. Determined to create a suitable dwelling, Russell had a spot 18 meters below the summit of the Vignemail dynamited to construct his final cave, Le Parody. It was here that he celebrated his silver wedding, marking 60 years since his first ascent of the mountain. Russell's 33rd and final ascent of the Vignemail took place on August 8, 1904. In recognition of his contributions to exploration, Pick Russell in the Maladetta Massif was named after him. After his death in Biarritz in 1909, Russell was laid to rest at the cemetery in Pau. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below.
telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.